Hello and welcome to my video all about how to recycle light bulbs into bugs and other creatures. I'm going to be showing you how to make this creature which is a kind of spider and then I'm going to be showing you how to make a small insect like bug. You can of course come up with an entirely new and different bug design completely by yourself because this craft of course is all about creativity and just having fun. The materials and tools you'll need to do this are shown here. The wire I'm going to use is aluminium craft wire with a black coating. I'm going to use wire that is 1.5mm in diameter and 1mm in diameter. I'm also going to use some wire pliers. You can buy some jewellery making pliers or you can use any pliers that you have lying around that can be used to shape the wire. Because I'm using aluminium craft wire it's extremely easy to bend and sculpt. You can even shape it easily with your hands. You'll also need some wire cutters and of course the light bulbs. I have used some what are called filament or Edison light bulbs which have an interesting filament design in the centre. I have also seen transparent or opaque Christmas light bulbs used to great effect. And the final thing you'll need is some glue. I've used some UHU all purpose glue however I found this to be too slow drying for its purpose so it ended up being a bit messy. The best thing you can use is a clear drying contact adhesive because then it dries immediately. What you want is an instant dry super glue. This will mean that as soon as you stick the wire to the bulb it should stick rather than having to hold it and risking making a mess with the glue on the glass. A couple of safety notices. Obviously this project involves glass and wire. So it's not a toy and also wire can be pretty sharp at the ends so just watch out for that and it might be best to wear safety glasses because bits of wire might be flying up at your face. Obviously don't hold the light bulb too hard or handle it roughly because it is of course glass. Now on to the project. I'm using a sort of spherical filament bulb for this project because I'm going to be making a large bodied spider. I'm going to use a 1.5mm craft wire first as this is the strongest and can take the weight of the bulb easily. I'm just taking the wire and first wrapping it around the metal section of the light bulb. I want it so the wire goes all of the way around this metal section and then on each side is enough length of wire to form each leg. So the longer you want the legs, the longer the wire has to be. My piece of wire was about 25 centimeters long, I don't think any longer than that, and I made sure that it was the middle section of the wire that was wrapped around the metal section of the light bulb. You want to manipulate each wire leg so that it arches upwards and then around like I'm showing here. Kind of like an M shape. You want these wire legs to be long enough to incorporate this arch and make contact with the table surface all whilst raising the light bulb off the table. And you can also bend the ends of the wire if you like to make little feet. Try and make each of the legs as symmetrical as possible. But don't worry about being perfect at this point because you can carry on manipulating the wire as we go along. And now we move on to making the other three pairs of legs, bearing in mind that the light bulb gets larger in circumference and therefore the wire lengths for the legs have to be a bit longer. So decide where you want the next pair of wire legs and wrap the wire around this part of the light bulb. Once you've got that circle shape in the centre, do exactly the same as with the first pair of legs and make them into arch shapes. As you go along the light bulb you'll find it's a bit more tricky to do the legs because it's harder to wrap the wire around a spherical shape. I then made two errors 
The first was I decided to glue the first two pairs of legs onto the light bulb now instead of waiting to the end to glue all four pairs onto the light bulb together. And the second mistake was that I put the glue onto the wire before I had placed the wire onto the light bulb. This meant that glue ended up on the light bulb where I didn't want it to be and it looked a bit messy. So what I'll do next time is place the wire in the position I want it and then apply the instant super glue between the wire and the light bulb. This way you're not moving the wire around with the glue on it. You then simply wait for the glue to dry. The next step is to make the spiral feet. I've already done three of the feet and now I'm going to do the final one. I simply take the end of the wire and wrap it around the round tip on my pliers. I keep wrapping until I've wrapped about this much and then I take the pliers and unfurl that spiral to make a larger, more loose spiral. I then just squash that spiral in the pliers to make it nice and flat. You can of course create any type of feet you want on your book, it doesn't have to be this style. The next step is to make the third pair of legs. For this one I'm going to do it slightly differently. So I'm going to wrap the wire again once more around the bulb where I want to position it. But this time I'm not going to make a circle in the centre and then make arches with the legs. Instead I'm going to fold the wire back on itself on each side to form the legs. Therefore the light bulb will more be sitting into the wire rather than being wrapped in it. This will mean that the wire is only going underneath the light bulb and not all the way over the top of it. I then glued this shape onto the light bulb and left it to dry. For the fourth pair of legs I did the same technique by wrapping the wire length around the light bulb and then bending the wire back on itself on each side to make the legs. However, I position the underside of this wire length in the same place as the third pair of legs. So on the underside, the third and fourth pairs of legs sit next to each other. All you have to then do is angle that fourth pair of legs away from the third. This will mean that the fourth pair of legs will be angled backwards from the light bulb rather than straight off to the sides like the others. Once you've done that you can glue the fourth pair of legs in place. With the third and fourth pairs of legs in particular it's important that you use enough wire. Because these pieces of wire are wrapping around the larger diameter of light bulb, they will need to be a bit longer. In all instances, it's better to overestimate the wire you're going to need. The next step that I took was to use the one millimeter wire to wrap it all the way around the body of this spider creature. So I took one end of the one millimeter wire straightened it out between my fingertips, put the end under the metal part of the light bulb and then started wrapping all around the metal part. Once I was happy with that bit I moved over the first pair of legs and carried on wrapping and then moved over the second pair of legs and carried on wrapping and finally I did a little bit of wrapping on the large spherical part of the light bulb. However, because I liked the look of the light bulb and especially the filament inside, I wanted to make sure this was still on display, so I left big gaps between the wire at the back. You then cut that wire to size so that the end is underneath the bug. 
and then you glue that end into place. One plus side of this wire wrapping was that it hid a lot of my messy glue work. So it's a good way to hide your sins. And then of course, you've pretty much finished. There are all sorts of variations you can do with this spider bug, including sticking googly eyes on or, as I did, wrapping some red thread around it. You could wrap it in yarn, you could stick rhinestones all over the light bulb. There's so much you can do and it's completely up to your imagination. Now I'm going to show you how to make a simple little insect bug instead. For this bug I used a narrower, smaller, more of an oval shaped light bulb. And I think the shape of it really lends itself to making little insects. I'm only going to be using the 1.5mm wire for this and not very much of it either so this is a really quick, cheap and easy make. The first thing I'm going to do is straighten out the wire between my fingertips and then I'm going to wrap the wire around the metal part of the light bulb. I simply wrap the wire all of the way around the metal section to leave one length of wire on each side. These lengths of wire will be the legs and should measure at least 10 centimeters long. Usefully, the 1.5 millimeter wire fits really well into the grooves of the metal part of a light bulb, which means that the legs can move side to side while still being secure, therefore eliminating the need for me to even use any glue. Once you've wrapped that first pair of legs, you can cut the wire and then repeat the process again for the second pair of legs. So once again wrap the wire around the metal part of the light bulb all of the way around and cut the wire to once again create a leg on either side. Then you just make the third pair of legs exactly the same way and finally cut all of the legs to make sure they're all the same length. The only thing left to do now is to shape the wire legs and add loops onto the end of the legs for feet. The shaping of the legs and the shaping of the creatures that you're going to make in general is very trial and error, so just keep manipulating the wire until you get it how you want it. Just make sure that you don't bend the same wire back and forth too many times because this does weaken it. I make loops on the ends of the legs using my pliers. And there you go, a very quick DIY insect made from a light bulb. I really hope you experiment with this idea and this craft and really have fun with it. There are endless possibilities for this type of craft because it's only limited by your imagination. There is so much scope to add all kinds of materials. You could paint the light bulbs, you could use different coloured craft wire, you could add fabrics, you could use collage, you could add googly eyes. If you're skilled with wire work, then you can incorporate spirals and all kinds of patterns. All sorts. There are so many ways to make these creatures all your own and completely unique. I really hope that you give this craft a go and thanks very much for watching. If you would like to see another tutorial on this subject, then I have a free lesson over on Skillshare which shows you how to make a bug with beaded wings and I will provide a link to that tutorial below.